Hello and welcome to Cloud Tech Talks. This is Pritesh. I'm back with another video. This video is about Vault, uh, which is a secrets management solution from Mashicorp. We'll uh, cover some of the key use cases of Vault, uh, why it is beneficial to use Vault, and uh, what are the scenarios under which Vault is uh, uh, preferably used. And uh, the part two of this video will be about what are the factors which determine how Vault is sized and priced, right? So I'll be covering off some of those uh, uh, things in the subsequent video as well. So stay tuned to this one. So to recap the last video, we covered the concept of secrets. We covered some of the secrets, the types of secrets that exist. And we also covered some of the scenarios in the industry, which has led to all of these secrets come into play and picture and why it's important to protect them. So essentially in the last video, we covered the need for a secrets management solution. In today's video, I'm going to cover off more from the perspective of Vault, which is a secrets management solution, a leading secret solution in the industry. And what are the key use cases which Vault is used for and how it essentially helps to protect secrets, right? So let's jump into the first use case. Uh, first use case is essentially secrets management itself. Right, so uh, covering off all the secrets that we covered in the last video, uh, the the basic uh, criteria to be able to manage secrets is to avoid something known as secret sprawl. Uh, sprawl is nothing but uh, uh, you know secrets being present in different uh, unauthorized places. So to give you an example, um, uh, one of the developers of a company could uh, have his secrets listed down on a piece of paper on his on his laptop, uh, like a sticky note or or a notepad on the laptop or uh, any other thing, right? So uh, that essentially leads to sprawl and imagine imagine more and more people in the organization attempting to do that for ease of use or you know uh, lacking that sense of how the whole secrets uh, uh, responsibility should be controlled that's where the sprawl comes into play so to avoid something like sprawl uh, secrets management is one of the use cases where vault makes sure that all of your secrets are stored centrally in a central location and in a secure location and is only available to those who give a legitimate reason based on identity. So Vault always looks at the entire picture from the perspective of identity brokering, which is essentially a concept of allowing someone based on their identity, no matter who it is, whether the person is accessing an application, whether an application is trying to access a secret or a database or any of these secrets that we spoke about. So that covers secrets management uh, on a very high level. Second is, uh, the concept of encryption. So let's write it down as data encryption, right? So many of com many of the companies they deal with uh, uh, sensitive information, and this sensitive information is across different uh, uh, platforms, different cloud infrastructures, different private infrastructures as well. And uh, there is a need to encrypt that data. Many companies they do. Uh, this offline by by trying to buy expensive uh, hardware solutions which essentially do that encryption but vault can essentially do that as part of the uh, solution itself right so data encryption i mean whether it's in transit at uh, at rest or any other uh, shape or form is one of the key use cases for vault and last but not the least something which is known as adp which is advanced data protection. Advanced data protection is nothing but um, uh, Vault being able to integrate uh, across different uh, security platforms, right? So uh, some companies would be using uh, HSM providers to uh, to do their uh, you know uh, uh, security solutions offline, uh, not in the cloud, etc. How can some of the advanced data protection features come into play? Uh, for industries such as banking, financial uh, financial uh, uh, companies as well, and even healthcare organizations, where they have to deal with sensitive data, and there is a need to essentially mask some of that data. So one of the examples that I can give is, let's say uh, that you're working with a credit card organization as, as one of your customers, they deal with sensitive credit card information for all of their customers, right? So how can that be masked behind uh, you know, a secure uh, protocol. That's how, uh, you know, ADP does its job. So one of the use cases for ADP is uh, is one of the uh, transform engine is uh, is one of the uh, features of Vault, which allows 
a company to mask data behind uh, you know uh, sensitive information so that could be related to either a credit card or other personally identifiable information right so in normal circumstances this information may not be masked but with adp you can mask the data so this covers key use cases for vault uh, along with what uh, it covers as as a gamut of secrets one of the key points that i wanted to cover off was why vault is important and why and what kind of benefit it brings to the organization right so keeping all of these use cases in mind and also ensuring that uh, we are covering every any any platform any environment that a company would be utilizing for their data uh, the the number one point that comes to my mind is increased productivity you you make sure that all of this does not take time anybody and everybody in the company could follow an automated metric uh, or workflow for managing secrets for ensuring that you are able to protect all of your secrets in in this manner and at the same time you reduce the risk of sprawl you reduce the overall attack surface area as well so the in in cyber security there's a concept of how much of surface area uh, an attacker has to attack uh, you know available to attack for from an organization and this essentially reduces the amount uh, of surface area available because now you're not essentially storing secrets in different places everything is in in one place centrally stored and is in fact only available in scenarios where uh, a user is able to authenticate his or her identity to access that secret right uh, so we spoke about workflows we spoke about uh, being able to authenticate based on identity and making sure there is no sprawl and last but not the least all of this essentially improves your efficiency as a company uh, reduces the cost for many other peripheral things that you might have to invest in if you don't have vault right and think about all of the different uh environments and platforms that you have to manage secrets in all of that can be consolidated into vault doesn't matter whether it's whether it's a public cloud environment private cloud environment or any other environment that you can think of right so in in a nutshell uh, in this video i covered off uh, key use cases for vault what vault is what it covers etc and the key benefits for vault as well in the next video uh, i will cover off how to uh, what are the key parameters to uh, consider when you are pricing vault and how is vault sized for a specific customer more relevant for uh, a partner who is actually pitching this as a solution to uh, to his or her customer so please uh, stay tuned for the next one as well until next time this is pritesh signing off from cloud tech talks thank you